Good afternoon, world. We gave Story a little gift for being so good. You know why? Because Story's got a little fever. Mm. You gonna take your own temperature? <laughs> You've had some practice now, haven't you? Yesterday's Story's temperature shot up to 39 degrees and it was fluctuating around that level for most of the day. She just kept asking to go back to bed. She actually slept all day yesterday, didn't she? She did. She slept for about three hours each time and then she'd wake up for half an hour, 20 minutes, have a drink and then go straight back to sleep. So yesterday we just didn't pick up the camera at all. Yeah. It was all about just looking after the next story. What's the result? 37.27. So it's dropped down massively since yesterday. Yeah. But then we've noticed you've got little bumps on your hands and feet, haven't you? Yeah, I, I also have it on my arm, look at my bump. Uh, one of your school friends had this last week, didn't they? Mm. Not, not Teacher Chi. No, not Teacher Chi. No, only the kids. One of the kids had it, didn't they? Does it itch? How does it feel? It doesn't itch, but it is, is a bit itchy. What about inside your mouth? Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay, but I need to swallow. Yeah, does it hurt when you swallow? Yeah, because of have uh, like... Otherwise, I might die if I don't do any swallowing. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, you can still swallow, can't you? You haven't got any swelling, you just got a little bumpy yeah. red bit inside there, haven't you? It just looks a bit sore, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks a bit sore, but I can't see it. Are you feeling a bit better now, though, since I'm yesterday? Feeling a bit better, but my, my, my eyes are weak, though. Your eyes are weak? Yeah. Do you need to have another rest? No, I just need, I just need another film. Another film? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a very nice day yesterday with Story. She was quite poorly and today she woke up and she's full of chat again and she's much, much perkier. Yeah. But temperature's still a little bit raised from what she is normally so I'm going to keep an eye on it because it has gone up and down today and it hasn't dropped below 37 and she's normally quite a low temperature like uh -huh. 36. Yeah, at least it's not 39. Yeah. So we're still a bit raised. Not out of the woods yet, are you? And you, Eden, you're a bit of a mirror, aren't you? You've been mimicking Story yesterday. You didn't wake up. You just stayed in bed all day. You didn't even eat your dinner, did you? Mm. You had all of your supplements, though, didn't you? <laughs> That's because we syringe your supplements into your mouth. You've got no choice. <laughs> we were supposed to go on a island boat trip tomorrow with some friends and we had to cancel it. There's no way that Story is in the right kind of state to be outside in the heat. And now that she's got this rash on her hands, and she can't be going in the sea. We just need to make sure she's fully healed before we do anything. Quite a few people recently have been talking about our travels and you know what we should be doing and maybe we should like try and see if we can contact Air Asia and CB Pacific and see if we can fly around and everything and a couple of you guys commented right it is more difficult when you've got a child and you've got a dog and you've got school schedules and you've got a, a dog with ailments we have to plan for much longer before we do anything like that but thank you guys for offering to contact all of these companies and corporations for us it would be amazing if we could do stuff like that, but it has to be closer to home. We are definitely more leaning towards driving around Mindanao because we're not going to put Eden on any planes. If we go anywhere, we have to drive there, and that is the nearest island to us. It would be interesting to get in touch with whoever manages tourism for Mindanao. I'm going to leave you girls getting busy with that, <laughs> and I'm going to go out and buy some fuses. Oh, have fun! Have fun! <laughs> So my good friend June June from Surigao City managed to send me a brand new alternator for the Toyota and it works really well getting full charge from the car but I did notice that the fuses from the engine bay are looking really worn and dying so I'm going to go and see if Dapa has some fresh ones so we can get this car ready for our plan which I'll tell you about when we get back. another beautiful day for a drive even though it's not a particularly fun errand to run to go and buy some fuses when the weather's like this quite consistently it makes driving around quite beautiful Sasha and I said this morning I don't think we could ever get bored of these colors and these views sometimes it is nice to fantasize about snowy capped mountains like in Norway or something like that 
but on a day-to-day -day basis I would always rather live somewhere like this. <laughs> just currently passing over the Mussin Bridge right now. If you watched the vlog a couple of days ago when we were in the Tuk Tuk riding Story to Forest School, we passed by here and saw a guy who offered us a boat trip to the Secret Lagoon. And we had big plans to do that one day and then go on the boat trip to the island the next day. Everything was like exciting and we were all prepared to go the next morning and then Story started getting ill. And that is why with all our good intentions, things work differently with us. Psychologically, we were all ready to go. Even Story was super excited about the idea of doing something different after her week of school. And we can definitely tell that Story's getting an itchy foot for travel because she keeps asking us about different animals that she can see and different fruits that she could eat that we can't get here on the island. And when we say to her, oh, we have to go here for that, she'll be like, oh, well, can you take me there? The other day she said to me, Dad, can you take me to India, please? And I was like, oh, I wish it was that easy easy like it used to be. I would love to take Story to India one day and then obviously she would experience a whole new culture, a completely different side of the world. You know, India is somewhere quite special as is the Philippines. We have so much to see here as well. We just have to go about it the right way and that just takes a little bit more time. And now of course we've added Eden into the mix who is a very old dog that needs a lot of care and hotels required to be pet friendly which changes the game a lot. It was the same in Thailand we were restricted to where we could go and where we could stay because of Eden so now having a child and a dog it's not easy but we will work it out we showed in a vlog the other day the little dog backpack so we can put Eden in the backpack and carry her on hikes I actually ordered that from Lazada so it should be arriving in a few weeks time we will need to test it out to see if it's actually <laughs> a feasible way to transport Eden around but I think it's gonna make for some interesting future videos and it's all part of the preparation for us to go further afield. There's one more factor we have to keep in mind as well and that's this pandemic testing situation. If we have to go somewhere that requires Story to have a negative PCR test where they stick the cotton swab thing right up of your nose, that would be a definite no-no for me. And I have heard actually that here in the Philippines, they're not actually requiring you to test a child and of an age under 13 I think but it also depends on which island you're going to and the specific rules so we really do have to keep an eye on how things are changing from week to week because we don't want travel to become taxing and to become unenjoyable it has to be something that we still enjoy that's why we've been comfortable here in the island so far just exploring locally but on a positive note it looks like things are getting a little bit easier here in the Philippines Let's grab that fuse, if anyone's got one. This is the back streets of Dapa, where you get all your roadside parts from. I've got a tip for anybody who likes to travel. Always look up. You see cool little buildings that you don't notice if you just look down below. Look how authentic that looks. Okay, so that was a partially successful shopping visit. He actually had the fuses the right size, but not the right amps. So I got one, but I need two more. So I'm gonna check another store. Okay, couldn't find everything I needed in Dapper, which is a bit annoying, but I can always get it from the next island. I'm gonna go inside now and check on Story, find out what's going on with her. So we're winding down the day here. Story's actually about to get ready for bed. There she is down there. I'm just gonna do a final temperature check before she goes to bed. And this morning we also washed brown there, didn't we? So brown there got a very good scrub in the sink and he hung out to dry. And he smells so lovely now, doesn't he? Mm -hmm, but yeah. Stinky. He's stinky. <laughs> but he's stinky like flowers. And I also stripped Story's bed and her sheets have been washed as well, which I have to remake before you get into bed. So I've got to do that as well mm -hmm. right now. Okay, let me help open up. I actually turned it on. Did you? Mm -hmm. Close mouth. And keep mouth closed, okay? Do you want to hold it? Mm hmm. Okay. Keep your mouth closed and don't move. Just waiting for the beep, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brown, they're helping you. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. 37.85. Oh dear. It's gone up again. Check Brunners. You want to check Brunners? Yeah, because he's actually have a fever too. Oh no. Okay, go on then. We've got to make sure Brown knows well as well, haven't we? Yeah, he's... He has lots of story medicine. Yeah. <laughs> right, you wait there with Brown there and I'll go and make your bed, okay? Make your room nice and cosy. Story has definitely been much more herself today. She's been so perky, talking a lot and really been more herself. Whereas yesterday she was completely out of it. She's also eaten today. Yesterday she ate one olive the whole day and two mugs of milk with water and stuff. But so she was drinking every time she woke up, but she just didn't eat anything yesterday. Today she's had 15 olives and half a bowl of oats, also a whole apple. So she has eaten much more today than she did yesterday. So hopefully tomorrow she'll feel better and we'll get that temperature down. Brown nose temperature is 5088. Yeah. Oh, that's really hot. Oh my goodness, he needs to have an early night as well. It's a long time until I get better. I think tomorrow you'll feel even better than you did today. And do you know it's a long, long time? I know. <laughs> Story is having a bad morning today. Her fever has completely gone. But now it's been replaced with really, really itchy feet and itchy hands. So we now know that she has got probably what her friend had at school. And luckily, this is the last stage of it, just the itchy feet. So we've done a lot of research, we've spoken to some people, and she just needs to ride it out. Mummy's doing some cooling in there. We've managed to get a hookup our battery bank to the fan because we've actually got a power cut. It's a bad day to have hot weather and no air conditioning. It's really difficult for us to hear Story crying like this because she never normally gets sick. She has always been extremely resilient to other people's illnesses. Every time we've been around people that are sick, she's never really caught on. I just think that because of the stress of being extremely active in an extremely hot environment at the school and around some other people that have some kind of illness, it's caught on probably a lot quicker than she normally would. But this is normal, this is all part of parenting, it's all part of life. All other plans are on hold right now while story gets better from this. Some people that watch these videos online, they often say things like, oh, story's never naughty or she never gets sick or she's always a happy girl, but we know that's not reality. The reality is that she doesn't often get sick and she doesn't often act up but it does happen and this is all part of being real and trying to show some form of authentic life here. It also leads me on to the topic that I was mentioning earlier about wanting to travel around. Sometimes your plans get disrupted massively. Today we were supposed to be on a boat trip, it was actually today we would have been on the island and the story is you know, in no condition to be travelling around, going in sea water, no chance. So we have to react as parents to these kind of situations and also we have to think about Eden too. She actually developed a little sore on her shoulder the other day from where her harness was pulling on her, that area. And so she can't go in the sea. So both of the daughters actually couldn't go into the water today. However, on a more positive note, I did want to, like I discussed earlier, tell you what our plans are going to be for the next month. Hopefully this can work out. We are planning to send our Corolla over to Surigao to a specialist mechanic who is going to basically get everything done for us. Here on Shargao Island, mechanics are few and far between for cars and not all of them are very reliable. So I want to send it somewhere where I can pay for proper work to be done and my friend Jun Jun who lives over there is going to oversee it. So we were going to get that car super reliable and we're going to ship it over there beforehand and then intercept it next month and go for our Mindanao road trip. The reason why I want to do this is because we've heard good things about the mountain areas like Bukid Noan having a cooler environment, they can grow different types of fruits up there. So what we're going to try and do is plan out like an animal and 
fruit tour so story can get her desires fulfilled recently i said she's been talking a lot about different kinds of fruits like berries and she misses being in different parts of the country i know that story misses travel and so we want to try and see if we can do that for her i feel like we've been in one place for a very long time don't worry we're going to be safe about it we're going to choose the best environments we're going to do a lot of research and also possibly contact the tourism partners of Mindanao to see where we can go and how we can make the most of this trip. It'd be amazing if we could see some different types of animals, things that we don't get here on the island. Sasha and I think that it would be really good for Story and for us because she hasn't been off of this island for a whole year, not properly. And we are a traveling family. We do like to move around and experience different parts of countries and also we want to see more of the Philippines. So there's a lot of factors there to think about. I'm going to have to work out how to ship the car over. I have some new boat contacts now which will help with that. As always, these plans are preliminary. Not everything might work out. So we just have to hope that we can put all of the steps into place and it will go through. And I thought I'd share that with you guys, what we were planning to do. I'm gonna to end today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye.